Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's day five of Vlogmas, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the past four days. With that being said, I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes of how I create TikTok videos. I'm gonna show you how I set up, film, and edit my videos. The video I'm creating today is a Christmas hot cocoa bar. So we're gonna have hot cocoa, sprinkles, chocolates, everything you kinda have for a hot cocoa bar, and of course marshmallows, can't forget the marshmallows. I feel like not a lot of creators show what they do behind their TikToks, but a lot of people are curious. So I thought I'd show you guys what that kind of looks like and what goes into making a TikTok video. So let me know if you guys like this video and I can definitely do more of them. So without further ado, let's get into the video and start making our Christmas hot cocoa bar. for the Christmas hot cocoa bar. It's quite a lot, so we're probably not gonna use all of it, but we do have variation. So first things first, we have hot cocoa. We have white and chocolate. Then we have some hot cocoa bombs, some Christmas themed kisses, some peppermint squares, these Sour Patch Kit ornaments. Then we have Christmas M&Ms. We have peppermint bar. We have mint baking chips. Santa Reese's, some Nutcracker Reese's. We have some fudge up here. I haven't tried it before, but it looks pretty good and they're super cute. And then of course marshmallows. So next we need to grab the containers that we want to put these things in. Then I need to set up my camera and then we'll start just filming. So I think I'm going to film right here. So it has a pretty cute Christmas backdrop. So I need to move all of this stuff over to here so I can take my before video of what it looks like before the Christmas bar is done and organized. So yeah, let's move everything over here. Okay, so I just got the first clip. I just found all my containers and I just hand washed them real quick so that they were extra clean. I do have some spoons here that I also need to clean before I use them. And this container needs to be washed as well as everything that's inside of it. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna get started on the video. So I just finished the hot cocos and now I'm gonna do the hot cocoa bombs in this container. I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe. Next up is this organizer and we have eight different sections. So we're gonna choose the eight sections right now. So the first compartment is gonna have these tree kisses. The second will be the Santa kisses. Then this fudge, then chocolate M&Ms. Then Santa chocolate Reese's. Nutcracker chocolate Reese's. These Sour Patch Kids ornaments. Then for the eighth one, we're gonna do these peppermint bark squares. There's regular and dark chocolate. So now we're gonna film this. This is the current setup for it, and this is the organizer that we're using. Then in the organizer, we're gonna be using these little spoons. And then for the three wooden glass containers that we'll be using for the rest of the stuff, we're gonna have these three little scoopers. And these two scoops are just for the hot cocoa. So yeah, let's just get filming this. These are the cutest pieces of fudge ever. Mm. 
Next, we'll do the Reese's Nutcrackers. Next are the Reese's Santas. Next, we'll do the M&Ms. Next up are the Sour Patch Kids ornaments. Next, we'll do the Christmas tree kisses, then we'll do the Santa kisses. So I'm trying to do a different compartment with each design of these kisses. So I spilt the bag and now I'm sorting them to put them in their correct compartments. Okay, now I need the Christmas tree ones. So lastly, we have these peppermint bark squares. Then I'll show you the container to show you kind of like what it looks like. So this is what the container looks like finished. I think it's super cute. I really like it. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the stuff and then I'm going to edit this video and then I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of the second part, which is me setting up the Christmas cocoa bar. So yeah, let's get into that. So we kind of have a mess going on here, but we'll clean that up after. So for the three containers, we're gonna be putting in the marshmallows, the peppermint bark, and the mint baking chips. So we've got the hot cocoa back here. This is the chocolate bombs. This was the peppermint bark. These are the mint. And lastly, the marshmallows. Then we just have the kisses, the Sour Patch Kids, the Reese's are back here, M&M's, the peppermint bark, and then the fudge. I still haven't tried it yet, but it looks super good. So yeah, this is the final product. I need to edit the video now for this. All right, guys, it's 2.40 p.m. and I just finished editing my video, so it took a little bit less than an hour. I also had lunch, so it probably added some time to my editing, but that's okay. The app I use to edit is called CapCut. It's just on my phone and it is free. This is the video I just edited. I did have to leave out lots of parts because I try to keep my videos under a minute long and it's currently at 58 seconds. And so I had to cut out the whole portion of me creating this setup. So this is not in the video, but it's going to be in a part two that I'll just post tomorrow. So it's a lot later than I normally post, but I'm gonna go post anyways. So I just downloaded the video. Then I'll go into TikTok and add some fonts and some music and then I'll post it. And after I'm done posting, the next thing I need to do is clean up my kitchen now. I did make a complete mess while I was filming. And then we'll go downstairs and film the part two to this video, which is me just setting up the Christmas hot cocoa bar downstairs. So everything that you saw in this video, we're just gonna put it together, make it all cute and festive. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys when we're downstairs putting the hot cocoa bar together. By the time you see this, my video will be posted. So go check that out and make sure to comment reindeer emoji so that I know that you guys came from YouTube. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll catch up with you guys. Here's a little sneak peek into my video that I made. Cheers. But the next step in this video is setting up the hot cocoa bar. So I'm gonna show you the spot that we're gonna do it in. Then I have to bring everything downstairs and set up my tripods and get filming on that as well. I have this wooden Christmas tree that I got from Hobby Lobby. I also have this wooden snowflake that I got from TJ Maxx. I used this last year in my hot cocoa bar setup and it was super cute. So I'm gonna do that again this year. Then I have one of my favorite candles. It's Walking in a Winter Wonderland by Sonoma. I think I got it at TJ Maxx, but it's super cute. So I love this one and it smells really good. I bought a couple of them last year because I like the smell that much. It still hasn't been lit, but I'm gonna add this to the setup. Then I have this really cute mug and it has little presents on the inside. So I also have this snow globe that I might use. I'm not sure yet, but it is super cute and I like snow globes. I don't remember what this song was. That's cute. It's still going.
I'm gonna run upstairs and grab everything else and then I'll be back down in just a minute. So I just grabbed a couple things from upstairs and I think I might like this snow globe better just with the theme of everything. It doesn't sing, but it is cute. And it's red and green, which are the colors. I got these two mugs from Home Goods, and they're super cute. So I just got everything down here. It took five trips, but now we're ready to get everything set up and start filming my other video. So this is the current setup. We have all the candies and chocolates, all the stuff for the hot cocoa, the mugs I showed, and then just like the decorations and then some stirring spoons. And this is the milk frother. This mug is just holding all of the little spoons. Then I have these tiny lights, but I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them because we just have a wall. So I'm not sure if we'll use those or not, but we do have them just in case. So let's get started on the hot cocoa bar setup video. And I'll just put you guys behind the scenes so you can see everything that happens. And I probably won't talk that much just so we can get it done quickly. But yeah, I'll update you guys when this is over. So this is the finished setup. I really like the way it turned out. I do need to add some more lights because I feel like this is just not enough. But I do think it's really cute overall. It's a lot similar to the one I did last year. I just added the mugs, the Christmas tree, the other mug holding stuff, the lights, and this little jar over here. So this drawer over here, which has the candy and the chocolate. I was gonna put it in the top drawer right here, but it doesn't fit, it's too big, so. We'll just put it in this drawer for now. And yeah, that's the final setup. Now that I finished filming the video, it's time for me to close out this video. With that being said, this is the end of Vlogmas Day 5. Make sure to comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see and check out all my other socials. I hope you guys had an amazing day and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. So turn on those notifications so you can get the alert when I post. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Making our Christmas memories